Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. I feel sorry for anyone who has to scratch their nose with their butts. That's unfortunate. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Scorn. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, you got a picture of Scorn, all Scorny-like, and picture of the robot mode. Spoilers! Transformers! Oh, uh, look, movie. Movie stuff. On the back of the box, you got your obligatory product shots, and you got your bio if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Scorn the Spinosaurus. And this is a really cool mold, and I really, really like it. Um, he is a red Spinosaurus with some orange highlights going on. It's very cool. Lots of nice molding here. Getting close on the head sculpt. Looks very cool. The eyes are picked out with some nice paint. And the whole, you know, the whole uh, mouth section, jaw section is picked out in some nice paint. Um, and all around, very good mold. Very good looking. I really, really like it. Come all the way down the tail. All the spikes. Uh, the spines up top are the soft bendy plastic, as well as his tail. His tail is that softish plastic. And uh, looks really good. Nice tampographed Autobot symbol right there. And yeah, just an all around, just very, very cool looking Spinosaurus. Um, articulation wise, in this mode, uh, he can open and close his mouth. Get some good roaring action going on there. He can wiggle his head from side to side. He can move his head up and down slightly. Of course when you do that you pretty much dislodge his throat so you kind of break the sculpt a bit when you do that but it still can be done. Um, his little arms here are on ball joints. You get pretty good range of movement there. You can have him go, hi, how are you? How you doing? Okay. Um, the rear legs are on ball joints so you get pretty good range of movement right here as well as a joint here and a joint here so you do get quite a bit of movement here from the dino legs um the tail doesn't really do anything unless you start untabbing stuff but um yeah it's 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 pretty cool i do quite like this mold quite a bit let's get him standing here come on stand stand for me scorn stand for me there we go for comparison here he is with slug you can see how they look together. Whoa, he wants to tip her. Don't tip on me, man. Don't go tipping on me. Don't go tipping on me. Why is everybody always tipping on me? There we go. So you can see how they look together. And we'll bring in Grimlock. Just so we can have a nice group shot here. So there you go. There you have the three Wave 1 Dinobots. Standing tall, standing proud as Dinobots should. Yes. Yes! I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> uh, and again, I'll say, definitely, if, if you're a scale nut, the Voyager Grimlock definitely scales better with the rest of the Dinobots. You know, the, the leader is a bit too big, so if you're one of the scale nuts, one of those scale people, then, you know, probably the best way to go is the Voyager Grimlock. But, um, yes, Scorn, he's cool. He's biting my finger. Why would you do that? That's just rude! So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. All right. So first thing you gotta do is you can just take these spines here. You want to untab them from these sections right here, rotate them, and you'll see they're on a hinge right here. And you're just gonna bring it down, and it will tab into the slot right there. So just bring it down, tab it into the slot like that. Take this one, rotate around, tab it into the slot, and. There you go. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to just bring down this whole leg assembly. Now this whole section here that the hips are on, you'll see right here it's on its own hinge. So you want to bring this whole assembly forward like that. 
and then you can bring the legs down like so take these side panels here flip those down which reveals some nice molded detail and it's also picked out in paint which is nice and then you're just going to take the legs you're going to straighten them out like that and once you've got that done you're going to take this middle claw right here and you're going to take it and you're going to swing it around to the front like that and this is what will make up his iron chic boots so he's got that and then this section here actually um you see here there's a there's a slot right here it actually tabs into the tail like that not super well but it does so you just want to untab that free that up and you're gonna take this front section here with the arms you're gonna take this whole assembly and bring that down now a cool thing happens here in the transformation when you rotate the waist forward you'll see that his head and his shoulders will raise up it's, it's basically a bit of automorph going on and it's pretty cool so watch rotate the waist and you'll see the head and the shoulders just raise up and that's pretty cool now when you're going back into dinosaur mode it doesn't you know it doesn't automatically bring everything down that you have to do manually just push it down and you'll see this panel is on a hinge too so it'll move out of the way when that gimmick starts working so it just brings that up which is really cool that's a, that's a neat little trick right there so let's take this panel and bring it down to complete his crotch and then you're going to take this assembly here and you'll see this little tab right here will go into this groove right there in the center you know the small of his back I like to take the dino arms and just take them and just put them in behind his back oops no, no. untab this there we go I basically just you know rest it behind his shoulders take this arm bring it down you got to take the dino head, you're going to straighten it out, you're going to rotate it 180, bring it down, you're going to open up the jaw all the way, bring it all the way back like that, and then push out the hand, and there you have that arm done, and then you want to come down here, and you basically want to flare out these two panels, and that'll bulk out his boots, right there, just bulk those out just like that and then you can take his head pull it up the rest of the way and uh, is that it am I done am I done I think I'm done yes I'm done there we go there we have scorn in his robot mode and again really cool very very cool um one little nitpick you know is just that I think his legs are a little too short for this body but other than that it, he looks really good I, I do quite quite like him Getting closer on the head sculpt, he has a bucket head of justice. You know, it's simple, it's basic, but I do like it, and it definitely goes along with the, uh, you know, with the kind of a medieval knight kind of uh, aesthetic that that we're getting with these Dinobots, and I like it. I like it a lot. I know some people have been complaining, oh, this isn't the Knights of Cybertron, this is stupid, oh, hey, I, I personally, I dig it. I dig it. I, you know, I have no problem with the movies taking things in a different direction. You know, I, I don't want to see the same thing regurgitated over and over again. If I want to watch G1, I'll go watch G1. Give me something new. Give me something different. And this is cool. And I like this aesthetic that we're getting with the Dinobots. I like the medieval night kind of look that these guys have. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um... And we'll just, you know, start focusing a little more on the details here. Again, a lot of nice molding here, and some of, you know, it's it's pretty well picked out in paint. You got these little orange bits right here on the waist, and now he has these, like, I guess these are, like, jaw, jaw skirts of some kind. I don't know, but they're nice, and they're picked out in paint, and uh, looks really cool. I dig the way his boots work. I like that. Again, some nice molded detailing here, and it's done in that nice, like, gunmetal gray. And yeah, I dig it. I dig it a lot. On um, this little piece, kind of sticks out of his butt a bit, and that's eh. You know, again, yeah, I, I don't really care that much because you know I don't display my figures facing the wall. But it is kind of weird that this part just kind of juts out like that. Um, if you don't care for it, you can actually bring it down flat, like that, and do what you want. I know some people have taken these arms. This has kind of been the popular way to transform him. Just take the dino arms and just kind of take them and kind of wrap them around his waist like that. And, you know, that's perfectly doable. You know, why not? Dare I say why not? That that works just fine. Um, now, one thing I will say about this bit of the transformation 
is that when you actually peg this into the small of his back, it does lock up the waist joint. So if you want to use the waist joint, you do have to disengage that, and then you got full use of the waist joint. So totally up to you how you want to work things. But you know, me personally, this is the way I like to do the backpack. But yeah, really, really digging it. Now, articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. It's a little bit limited. Um, he can look up, but he does have that weird thing because this head sculpt is really squared off. So, basically, a couple of people have already done this mod, is if you just kind of file down these back edges, just file them to an angle, he'll be able to look up a lot more smoothly. I mean, he can look up, but it's just kind of a real jarring, it's just kind of poop. <laughs> You know, there's no midway point, and, and, you know, you can't really, you can kind of cheat it a little bit, but you have to be really delicate about it, you know. You, you can kind of cheat it, but you can see it's kind of, it's wanting to kind of go back down on its own. So, I probably will go in and file that back piece down a little bit, too. But the head is on the ball joint, the arms can do a full 360, of course, the little dino arms I have back here in the way. But you can do a full 360. You got inward and outward movement here. You also get a bicep swivel. You get an elbow joint right here. Obviously, he has no hand. He just has this big tail lance going on. Um, on this arm, again, you can do full 360, inward and outward. You do have a bicep swivel. You do have an elbow joint as well as an inward elbow joint, so you can go either way with this. So you can go gorilla arms, or you can go not gorilla arms, totally up to you. Um, the wrists only, you know, move inward like that, and that's more for transformation than anything else. And like I said, if you want to use the waist joint, you just have to disengage this, and then you have full use of the waist joints. Plug that back in. And what else here? Your hips are on a ball joint. Do you have... Actually, due to transformation, you do end up with a double knee joint, which is pretty cool. And there's actually a little piece of molded detail here. Actually, that's not molded detail. That's actually a pin. I just noticed that now. Look at that. On the inside of his knee, there's actually a pin sticking out. And it's sticking out of both knees. That's weird. I thought that was actually something sculpted that they picked out in paint. And no, that's actually just a, a pin. That's weird. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I learned something today. <laughs> but anyway, you do have a double knee joint, and the only foot posability you get is this. You can wiggle his toes. So, there you have that. But he is he is really cool. Is he my favorite Dinobot? Um, no, I think the next one I'm going to be reviewing, I have to say, is my favorite Dinobot. But he is really cool. He is definitely a very decent mold. Now, for comparison... Oh, wait, before, before I do the size comparisons, before I do that, I almost forgot to show something off. He does come with an accessory. Now, if you come here, under his tail, you pull out this little dagger. He does have a big sawtoothed dagger of murderage, which uh, would have been nice if it had been picked down in some paint, and, uh, you know, I'm, maybe I'll take a Sharpie to it and put a little bit of silver on it. I don't know, but he does come with that. And he can hold it, so as if the giant tail lance wasn't enough, he also has a shank. So, there you go. <laughs> so, that is pretty cool. Now, for comparison, here he is with his buddy Slug. And you can see how they look together. And we'll also bring in Voyager Grimlock, so you can see how they look. The team so far and that looks really cool it looks really cool I'm digging it and again we'll bring in the leader class just so you can see I mean it, it kind of works but the scale is definitely uh, a bit off if you're one of those scale people so there you have that and we'll do some more comparisons here we'll do evasion optimus you can see how they look together. There you have that. We'll bring in Hound. You can see how they stand side by side. And we'll bring in, who else have we got? Who else have we got? We'll bring in Bumblebee. You can see how they look together. And last but not least, we'll bring in Crosshairs. 
you can see how they look together. And one more, just for the heck of it. Here he is with Leader Optimus. So, there you have that. So, yeah, as uh, far as scorn goes, all I have to say is Dinobots! Dinobots! <laughs> Dinobots! <laughs> and that's my professional opinion. So, don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. <laughs> I'm an idiot, I know. So there is the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Scorn, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face! So when new guy gonna get here? Me Grimlock not sure. Hey guys. Hi, how you doing? My name is Scorn. Nice to meet you. Why you talk so funny? Me Grimlock say why you no talk like the rest of us. You're supposed to say me scorn. What me 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 scorn? Why why would anybody talk like that? That is not proper grammar, like at all. I mean, <laughs> who would speak that way? That's just that's preposterous. That's that's almost Neanderthal. Come on, we're we're better than that, people. We're we're better than that. You sure about this guy? Me Grimlock don't know. No, it's, it's, I don't know. You don't have to start a sentence with, with your own name. It, it's, I don't know. <sighs> what, 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 what did I say? Me Slag say, no one like a grammar Nazi. What, what, what are you talking about? I, there's nothing wrong with speaking correctly.